Hi everyone and welcome back. This week is an exciting week at the museum. As you can see behind me, we've rolled 1670, the B6, into the restoration shop and are starting the process of taking everything apart, fixing everything, and putting it back together and restoring this cosmetically for the meantime so that it looks really, really good. What I wanted to do this video might not be the longest one, but I wanted to walk around and show everybody kind of what our first project is on this for metalwork, which is the ash pan. Our first big project with this is going to be dismantling the ash pan, taking it out from under the engine, and fixing all the patches, adding new metalwork, and putting it back in so it looks really good. The ash pan, the function of that is as you burn coal, you create ash, and sometimes there's rocks and other material in the coal that doesn't burn and the coal goes over a grate which we'll look we'll see underneath and the firemen would occasionally move this bar that would move the grates that the coal bed sat on and the ashes would drop into this pan and then when the locomotive would get service they would drop all the ashes out from the locomotive and put them in a pit and use them for different things um, so with that, these had a tendency to rot really bad, and that's what the point of replacing this and fixing it's going to be to make it look pretty good. Here you can see kind of how, if you look at this pan, this, is, this right here is the firebox where the coal would have been burned. And you can see how the pan is kind of tapered down so that when the ashes fall, they're directed toward the center of the frame of the locomotive, and we'll get a look underneath of that in a little bit but this is how this is made what's interesting and i find cool about this is that you can see they put an arch here's one of the the last set of drive wheels on it and there's actually like a wheel well arch around it where the pan goes around it because the firebox extended underneath of the running gear and drivers so this is part of the reason why these engines were so strong was that all the weight was on the drivers when they went around so I'm going to show a little bit of removing this pan today in this video. Part of what you have to do before you remove anything is anything that's in the way of what you're removing has got to be labeled and removed and put taken out of the way so that it gives you more space to work and you're able to remove these without a problem. So I'm going to show everybody, I'm going to heat up these nuts and I'm going to pull these brackets off and I'm going to pull this tube off. I'm not quite sure what the tube does yet, but I will find out eventually and that's what we're going to work we're on in our pit underneath the locomotive and you can see one of the doors to the bottom of the ash pan these would be opened by the fireman or hostler when they were getting service to drop all the ashes down into a pit similar to what i'm standing in but you wouldn't be standing in it when you drop the ashes i want to show everybody kind of what this looks like up inside and then what the grates look like that the coal sat on uh i had said before that these had a tendency to rot out coal and it's Coal has a tendency to rot metal away, so with all the fire and the burning of the coal and everything, these pans didn't hold up too well. So this is looking through one of the dumps for the ash pan. It looks like this one has two sets of doors. Uh, you can see up way up there is the linkage and then the grates that the coal would sat on. So when you shovel coal into the firebox, you're actually shoveling the coal onto a set of grates. Why grates? That's because the coal needs a source of air to come draft up through it so that it can create fire. You need fire, fire and oxygen to burn. So if you don't have the oxygen, you're, you won't be able to make a fire that well. So that's why the grates were shaped like that to allow draft to come through. And that linkage is so when the fireman pulls the lever, he's able to actually shape the grates to kind of get some of the unburnt coal or debris in the coal to fall down into this ash pan that I'm sitting in. So I'm gonna back out of here a little bit. There's the bottom of the ash pan, and then this right in front of me is the door that would close so when you're going along the tracks, you wouldn't be dumping hot ashes onto the tracks because the tires are made of wood and you don't wanna catch them on fire. So this is what this looks like. I wanna go up, here's some of the linkage that connects the two doors together. And then this is door number two right here flip around here and this this side of the ash pan actually faces backwards so here's another look
so that was a quick introduction to kind of what we have to do with this ash pan. The next big project that I'm going to start is dismantling each piece of this. It's held together by four or five different pieces that are bolted together. In the next video, I'm going to go to the other side and I'm going to show everybody how I kind of start pulling everything apart and getting it where we can weld it and fix it and put it back in. Thanks for joining me.